Indiana is a state with a rich past and agricultural legacy. With over 60,000 farms sprawling across nearly 15 million acres of land, Indiana stands tall among the top 10 agricultural states in the country, producing an abundance of corn, soybeans, and wheat. In 2022, the preliminary farm value of Indiana's field crops skyrocketed to a whopping $11.8 billion, a 5% increase from the previous year. And that's not all. Indiana also takes the third spot in the nation for total livestock and poultry sales, with a value of over $3 billion. All of this culminates in an astonishing $31 billion in annual economic impact and support for over 107,500 jobs across the state. Indiana's agricultural industry has a long history that dates back to the days of Native American settlement. The varied terrain of the state, ranging from the fertile soil of the Wabash River Valley to the gently undulating hills of southern Indiana, offers an excellent environment for farmers to cultivate crops and rear cattle. Native Americans in Indiana practiced a form of agriculture that involved growing crops such as maize, beans, and squash, using a technique known as slash and burn farming. When European settlers arrived in the late 18th century, they brought with them new agricultural practices and technologies, such as crop rotation, plowing, and animal husbandry. These practices, which were being introduced throughout the United States at the time, helped the state's agriculture sector to grow to include crops such as corn, wheat, and oats. But it was the combination of fertile soil, favorable climate, and abundant natural resources that truly set the stage for Indiana's agriculture success. But what exactly goes into farming on such a massive scale? Let's dive into the world of Indiana agriculture and explore how these farmers cultivate crops on their vast farmland. Imagine a vast expanse of golden cornfields spanning as far as the eye can see. Here in Indiana, farmers are hard at work cultivating one of the most profitable and important crops in the state, corn. Indiana farmers produced a record-breaking 1.1 billion bushels of corn in 2021, worth around $4.75 billion, which is a significant portion of the state's total agricultural revenue. But did you know that not all corn is the same? So, what are the different types of corn grown in Indiana? Popcorn is one of the most recognizable types, and thanks to successful agriculture research in the state, they have optimal seeds that produce the perfect popping corn. Sweet corn is another favorite, harvested during the summer when the kernels are still tender and juicy and the flavor is at its peak. And then there's field corn, which is the most common type of corn grown in the state. Field corn is used for animal feed and renewable fuel production, as well as for human consumption in products like cornmeal, corn flour, and grits. One unique aspect of corn production is the use of seed corn. This is a specialized type of corn that is used for producing hybrid seeds with specific traits desired by farmers. These traits can include disease resistance, higher yield potential, and improved quality characteristics. Every field of corn is unique with its own set of soil conditions that affect the crop's growth. This year, Indiana farmers were blessed with an exceptional growing season thanks to a wet spring, plenty of rain throughout the summer, and warm days with cool nights, just the kind of weather that corn thrives in. As a result, many corn stalks have two fully developed ears, a rare occurrence that is a testament to the favorable growing conditions. To maximize yields, Indiana farmers use precision planting equipment like GPS-guided tractors and planters, carefully selecting the best hybrid corn seeds for their soil and climate conditions. They also employ advanced irrigation techniques and closely monitor their fields for pests and diseases. To maintain soil health, farmers rotate their crops and apply fertilizers and nutrients as needed. Once the corn is mature and the kernels have formed, it's time for the harvest. Farmers use specialized machinery called combines to efficiently harvest the corn. The ears are cut and stripped from the stalks by rotating blades and reels, and then threshed to separate the kernels from the cob. The corn is then transported to storage facilities or processing plants where it is dried and sorted to ensure that only the highest quality kernels are used. While corn is a crucial crop in Indiana, soybeans are another major player in the state's agricultural industry, covering nearly 5 million acres of land in the state. In 2021, Indiana farmers produced a record-breaking 341 million bushels of soybeans, valued at over $3.7 billion. From cooking oil to animal feed and beyond, soybeans are used in countless products that we use every day. And just like with corn, 
Indiana farmers used precision planting techniques and advanced equipment to ensure that their soybean crops reached their full potential. When the time is right in the fall, Indiana farmers gear up to harvest their soybean plants. The plants are cut and the precious pods, full of delicious beans, are separated from the rest of the plant using specialized threshing equipment. The harvested beans are then transported to storage facilities where they undergo a drying process to reduce moisture levels, ensuring that they can be stored safely for months to come. The soybeans are then carefully sorted and cleaned to remove any debris and impurities. Once the beans are cleaned, they can be processed into various products, depending on the intended use. As we've learned, Indiana offers an excellent environment for farming. But to harvest over 15 million acres of farmland, Indiana farmers rely on more than just favorable conditions. Crop diversity plays a crucial role in their operations. This diversity is essential for several reasons. First, it helps to ensure that farmers have a stable income, even if one crop fails due to weather or other factors. Second is the fact that Indiana farmers are not just cultivating crops. They are also stewarding the land and crop diversity helps them to achieve that goal. There are various methods that Indiana farmers use to implement crop diversity. One of the most common practices is crop rotation, which involves planting different crops in a specific sequence over several years. This helps to reduce soil erosion, prevent nutrient depletion, and control pests and diseases. Another method is intercropping, where farmers grow two or more crops simultaneously in the same field. This allows for better use of resources, such as water and sunlight, and can also help in pest management. Additionally, Indiana farmers often incorporate cover crops into their operations. Cover crops are planted to protect and improve soil health during periods when the land would otherwise be fallow. They also help to control weeds, reduce soil erosion, and increase nutrient retention. Although Indiana is famous for its corn and soybean production, it has also established itself as a powerhouse in the livestock industry. With its pork, poultry, eggs, and dairy sectors accounting for more than 90% of the total cash receipts farmers receive each year, Indiana's livestock industry is a major economic driver for the state. In particular, Indiana's poultry and egg production have garnered national recognition. According to the United States Department of Agriculture, USDA, Indiana's egg production reached a staggering 8.67 billion eggs in 2020, a testament to the state's dominance in the industry. With approximately 26.5 million egg-laying chickens, the state has established itself as a hub for commercial egg production, with a concentration of operations in counties such as Kosciuszko, Whitley, and LaGrange. Farmers in Indiana rely on specialized layer houses to raise their egg-laying chickens. These buildings are carefully designed to provide the birds with a safe and comfortable environment, featuring automatic feeding, watering, and egg collecting systems. The majority of these birds are housed in cages, which not only maximizes space, but also enables more efficient management of the flock. However, the industry has witnessed a growing trend towards cage-free egg production, with farms adopting alternative housing systems such as aviaries or four pens. While large commercial egg operations dominate the industry, Smaller scale and free range operations are also present, catering to a niche market that values sustainable and ethical farming practices. Regardless of the scale, Indiana's egg producers remain committed to providing high quality and safe eggs to consumers across the country. As the state's farming landscape continues to evolve, the egg industry in Indiana is poised to maintain its position as a leading producer in the United States. While Indiana farmers work hard to make the most of their farmland, they face a number of challenges that can impact their ability to maintain productive operations. One such challenge is changing consumer demands. As consumers become more conscious about the source of their food and the methods used to grow it, farmers must adapt to meet these demands. This can mean investing in new technologies or production methods, or shifting their focus to specialty crops that are in higher demand. In addition, farmers must navigate complex regulations and certifications required to sell their products directly to consumers or through specialty markets. Despite these challenges, Indiana farmers remain committed to their work and to their communities. By staying informed about the latest trends and technologies, and by working closely with organizations like the ISDA and Purdue Extension, farmers in Indiana are finding innovative ways to overcome the obstacles they face and build sustainable, successful operations that benefit both their families and the wider community.